Hey there everybody, Franklin Taggart here. Welcome to the virtual coffee break. Here is my coffee and I'd love to invite you to grab a beverage and join me just for a real quick chat. Uh, it's, uh, it's been an interesting week here. After, after last week's big flurry of activity and, um, and really hot summer days and being outside in the heat and uh, then catching a cold and being kind of out of it for the last four days, I'm starting to finally feel like myself again. And thankfully, I've got a few days that are a little bit lighter ahead of me where I can do something called digging out. <laughs> and digging out is something that I feel like that I'm going to have to do um, at least uh, for the next week. Uh, because I, I, there were just a lot of things that I got behind on with the busy flurry and with the, and with the cold recovery, all of that stuff. I have a, a list of things to do that's a lot longer than I'd like to do right now. <laughs> but here we are, and I am, I'm ready to get started on it. And I, in fact, I. I have gotten started on it um, over the last couple of days. I've been able to to get to my list and check a few things off. We're getting on a really fun copywriting project right now um, that uh, is is firing up my creative juices and uh, getting me in a, a really cool space of imagination and creativity. I always love that. Um, and at the same time, there are just a lot of like kind of uh, promises that I've made that I still have not followed through on. So if you're waiting for me to, to do a follow-up with you, I appreciate your patience. And there's, oh my gosh, another thing that has just been really tremendous is um, I've been, you know, of course, participating in the Boost Your Business Bundle, and that finished up yesterday. Wow, what an experience. Um, I didn't know what to expect going into that, uh, but I've had well over 70 people enrolled in my new course and uh, join my school, which is the largest number of people that I've ever had enrolled for anything um, in, in anything that I've done over the last uh, 11, 12 years of online, uh, online b business opportunities. So that bundle has been an amazing experience for me, and I am I'm going to be promoting things like that and looking for other opportunities like that. Now what I have to do is I have to actually, I have to follow up with those folks and just welcome them to my world. And I, I have been, I have to say, I have to admit, I have been woefully unprepared for that. And... Um, like I said, I'm I'm normally used to trickling in numbers. Those are easy to keep up with, and I can I can keep up with them personally. At this point, I do need to you know I do need to revisit my automated email sequence so that I can at least have a contact with people who have joined my have joined my world in the last couple of uh, days. If any of you are new to my world you know, through the Boost Your Business Bundle, welcome. I think you're going to find that I'm a pretty laid-back guy. I tend to, um, I tend to be very conversational in the ways, in the way that I deliver things. Um, pretty much informal, as if you couldn't tell. And I also, um, I just really, I love to have conversations with people. So if you're someone who's new to my world and you'd like to have a conversation with me, there are a number of ways that, that can be done, and you can find them all on my blog, which is just at franklintaggart.com. Um, there's a really interesting form there called a contact form, and it has some options on there for you. So getting back to the idea of digging out. Um, the way that I dig out is I just make a list of things to do, and I just go down the list. And I try to, you know, I try to prioritize things as much as I can. But at this point, everything is urgent, everything is important, and I just need to go down the list and get it done. 
Um, and what's really rewarding about that is just seeing the things getting checked off. It feels good to go down the list and say, oh, that's, that's needed to be done for two weeks now. It feels good to have that behind me. Um, it feels good to check this off. It feels good to, to not have that, that particular task occupy, occupying any headspace or heart space, right? So that, that's my method for digging out. If I had a lot more to do than that, I would probably come up with something that's a little bit more systematic, uh, especially when it comes to ident identifying the things that are priorities and ranking them in any kind of a uh, any kind of a meaningful way. But what I really find the most helpful when it's digging out time is to just make a master list and start checking things off. Um, and what's really fun about that is it makes it makes decision making easier. I don't have to put a lot of time and effort into really weighing what needs to be done first. It all needs to be done first. So take the first thing on the list and do it. Take the first thing on the list and do it. Take the first thing on the list and do it. And it's like, I just keep doing that until there's no list. Well, I never have no list. Have you ever noticed that about me? I always have a dang list. But that's what makes life interesting now, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I have lists of lists in my Google Keep. I don't know about you. Do you have lists of lists in your Google Keep? It's like all of these really wild project ideas that I've had. I've had them for years. Now I've got to go back and see, are there any that are worth revisiting? And now that I have a little bit of time, which ones might be fun to bring forward? Hmm. Well, after I get my digging out done, that's what I'm going to be doing. So there are a couple of things that are coming up that uh, I want to have on your screen. One of them is that I'll be offering the Clients Everywhere workshop. Um, there are several people that have already signed up through that, uh, for that through the Boost Your Business bundle. Uh, but that workshop is going to be coming up on um, July 11th. And um, the way that I best describe that is that it's a workshop for people who need to find clients and customers but still haven't been able to finish that avatar worksheet or that niche worksheet or that ideal client worksheet. Those concepts have remained elusive. And one of the things that I really love to do is I like to find the client that's already in the room or that's already in my world. And there's a process that, that I've adapted for myself and it's not necessarily identifying the ideal client ahead of, ahead of time. It is talking with the person that I'm with and finding the ways that I can serve them. Ain't that sweet? So that's kind of an easy way of understanding it, but I do have a process that I'll be teaching in the workshop on July 11th. Now, I'm not even going to tell you to enroll yet because it's still too doggone early. Still three weeks out. Heck, let's wait a while. Don't, you know, why don't you wait until like July 10th to enroll? Because that'll be like a perfect time to enroll in that workshop. That way I'll, I'll just be a little bit nervous because nobody's signed up yet. And you'll be able to know for sure whether or not you can attend, which is usually the way that I sign up for workshops. Like I sign up for workshops the hour before because I know I can be there now. If you're like me, wait until the 10th or maybe even to the morning of the 11th. In any case, there's going to be more information that's going to be coming down the pike about the, the Clients Everywhere workshop. But I'm really excited about reviving that workshop. It's one that I've offered before um, several years ago. And it's a lot of fun to put together. And it's something that I think is going to help folks out a lot to start drawing new people into their, uh, into their business circles and into their, into their creative circles. Uh, a lot of the folks that I've presented this for before in, in the past have been artists and musicians, sometimes authors. And it's a way of approaching 
the whole idea of audience building in the circles that you're already in. So we're going to, we're going to be moving into that over the next couple of weeks. That's all I'm going to say about it for right now. And I'm not even going to give you a call to action because you know what? Dang it. It's too early for a call to action. The other things that are on my list are, I have a lot of contacts to catch up on. And so if you've been waiting for me to reply to your email, if you've been waiting to me, waiting for me to, um, uh, to, you know, send the review, or if you've been wait, waiting for me for feedback or any of those things, you have my sincerest apologies for the long wait that you've had to have. And I'm going to be getting to you in the next few days. So there you have it, folks. I am digging out. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are. Tomorrow is Father's Day, and I'll be delivering a special sermon for Father's Day. Oh, it's not really a sermon. I don't do sermons, do I? I have been known to, but tomorrow won't be. Um, in any in any case, enjoy your breath. In, in <laughs> enjoy listening to me stammer. Enjoy your beverage. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.